That is an outright lie. To someone who actually has the money. He has to be the most vile, disgusting, racist person I've ever met. Oh yeah, no. This market's been unbelievable. <laughs> I have sold more boats in the past six months than I have all year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, and today, if I make this sale, I'm gonna make my biggest commission ever. $40,000, yeah. I don't know, it's some guy that's, I guess, bought a bunch of boats before. No, no, no I don't know him. <laughs> yes, so please, please pray for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, I, I need to start prepping. I'll, I'll call you back later, okay? <laughs> Bye. Hello! Hi! Hi. Man, this boat is a beauty. What is it, 35 feet? Oh, um, 36. Man, <laughs> she's amazing. Two cabins? Yep. What year is it? Uh, 2018? 2019. 2019, yeah. I can tell that the owner took really good care of her. <clears throat> yep. So it's a sailboat with, with an engine, right? Oh my god, this guy's so annoying. <laughs> you mind if I come on board and take a look inside? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> You're here to clean the boat, right? Uh, do you mind if you come back after I have a client I need to show the boat to, okay? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to clean the boat. I'm here for the appointment. Wait, what? I'm sorry that I'm late. So you're Derek? That's me. I know that you said that you wanted me to be here by 11.30, so is, is now a good time? Uh, no, yeah, uh, it's fine. I just, I, I didn't realize you were him. <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm really feeling this boat. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, the boat is great. Um, I was just, expecting I know you were expecting me to be on time and again I apologize for being so late <laughs> well no that's not what I meant but um you know what actually uh I have something that I think is going to be much better suited for you yep but <laughs> look at this beauty right here she just went on sale yesterday <laughs> I want a bathtub with a motor on it. I want this catamaran right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, the thing is, I think that this boat is actually better for you. But I, I don't understand. When I spoke to you over the phone, I told you that I wanted a catamaran for me and my family. Right. Oh, look, this one over here, this between you and me, is way more reliable and cost effective. Okay. Am I not speaking English? I do not want this boat. I want that boat. Okay, <laughs> look, you know what the asking price is for that boat? $400,000. This boat, on the other hand, you could take it home for like 2,000. Wow. You really don't think I can afford this boat, do you? Uh, no, that, that's not what I said. I just, you know, how likely it is that you would be approved for the loans for that boat versus this one, I mean, you could probably take it home paying cash. You know what? We are done here. And, and your boss is gonna find out about this. <laughs> Seriously, what are you gonna tell her? You think she's really gonna believe you? Whatever. I'll sell this boat within a week with the market the way it is to someone who actually has the money. Are you okay, sir? No, I'm not okay. And I'm hoping that you're not here to buy that catamaran from her because that saleswoman there, she's just a waste of time. No, I'm not, but that's actually my boat. That, that's your boat? Yeah, that's my boat. I put it up in the market last week. 
Well, your agent or, or whatever she is, she has to be the most vile, disgusting, racist person I've ever met. What do you mean? What happened? I came down here to buy the boat and I was ready to make a cash offer, but she wouldn't even let me on the boat to look at it. You're kidding. What did she say? Look, I'm just gonna leave. Wait, I'm sorry, please, let me make this right. Let me go over there and, and talk to her and, and try to see what happened. I don't wanna deal with that lady. Just give me a chance to go over there and see what happened and I will settle this right now. Come with me. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, can you believe that loser? <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna waste my time with that. Look, he was never gonna afford it. Either way, I mean, the Yacht Club would have never allowed him to become a member here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, not this guy again. Let me call you back. Isabel! Hi, how are you? Hi, Shannon. I ran into this gentleman as he was leaving. He is extremely upset at the way that you treated him here today. Can you please explain what happened? Uh, Sure, of course. Um, you know, he came here, wanted to see the boat. He asked me the price. So I told him and said he couldn't afford it. That is an outright lie. You assume because I was a black man that I couldn't afford this boat. You wouldn't even allow me to get on it to look at it. Why would I miss out on a sale? Because you thought I couldn't afford it. Is that true, Shannon? The boat just, it wasn't ready when he came here. It's, the boat is in perfect condition. What's not ready about it? All right, fine. Like, I thought it was going to be a waste of time. I mean, look at him. Does he look like he can afford a $400,000 boat? You're fired. And you better believe that I am going to talk to your boss and let him know exactly what happened here today. Because I don't think that he would want somebody like you on his staff. <laughs> you can't do that. I absolutely can do that. Now please leave before I have security come here and escort you out of here. Please, please don't do this. Goodbye, Shannon. Goodbye. Now that she's gone, may I have the honor to show you my boat. I think I would like that. 